Hurricane Teddy may be well offshore, but its energy is certainly being felt all up and down our coastline. WPTV News Channel 5's John Shaman is in Martin County tonight, where beaches there are taking a hit. The power of Mother Nature. These are things a little dangerous. Waves crash ashore on Hutchinson Island Monday. Everything comes together, the high tide and the wind. Some water had lapped onto MacArthur Boulevard, but the real show was blowing in from the east. Once those oh, winds picked up, it, yeah. it's just amazing. While many onlookers came out to admire the beauty, another watches cautiously. So this is happening in advance of when the antenna normally go up. Martin County Coastal Engineer Kathy Fitzpatrick usually gets concerned about bathtub beach in October when astronomical high tides roll in with nor'easter storms. So when you get a nor'easter on top of those really high tides, we have we have problems. So this is happening a month ahead of time. We're losing the resilience that the beach has built up over the summer. While so far the dunes are holding up, if this becomes a multi-day tidal event, Fitzpatrick says there could be problems. Beaches are doing what they're supposed to do. They're sacrificing sand to guard what's behind them and use up wave energy. Um, but they only have so much sand to give up. Planning ahead, the county brought the lifeguard stands back off of the sand and into the parking lot. Bathtub Beach had been closed for nearly six months after a series of storms last fall and only reopened a few months ago. A full beach renourishment project is slated here for next spring. In Stewart, John Shaman, WPTV, News Channel 5.